Ready. Ready to fight. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early go. Sometimes taking that shot too early, can find, you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do. And now she finds it. Hey, there it is, her first takedown of the fight. She told us in our fighter meeting Thursday, at some point I will take her down. She didn't expect it to take this long, but here it is. She really had to work to get this first takedown. And she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level change. Now she finally has secured her first takedown. Nice leg kick land. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welt on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the welt. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Rocky Pennington. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're gonna give her a hit here between rounds, she better start raising that ball. She's gotta start doing something, but it's a testament to her opponent. Throwing so many strikes, she's being so accurate with everything that she is throwing. Good stick. And they separate. and gets tattooed by that straight punch. Big kick land. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. This can change the fight. Another takedown land. And they both stand up. Nice body kick. Effective punch there by Vieta. Ten seconds. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? All right, so round two is underway here. Both women had their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both elite. A lot of respect on both sides. We'll see if they get after it here to begin round two. with that jab. What a punch. She's starting to put together. Fire right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Well, back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice right hand. 45 total strikes and counting that have landed for Raquel Pennington. We're on a pretty good connection rate thus far, hitting on one out of every two. The accuracy rate is 50% against Ketlin VA. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow landing. Back and forth we go. Pretty significant belt. 
to the left side. <laughs> She was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, she's got a good jab. Beautiful this is good. Man. Looking for a guillotine. Finish here. Wow. Forty five seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Twenty seconds to go. Vieta's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Splits the guard lanes the right hand. Now round three coming up next. Relax. Breathe. Here's some water. Now listen, I want you to... All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter, and she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better fighter. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Vieta gets caught by that straight punch there. Big win. Oh, she goes to the ankle. I don't know if she's doing that because you're in the commentator's booth tonight, but you got to appreciate that effort. Call me entertained. Anytime I get to see oh. you can never. stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a